Okay, Dr. Zablul, uh, you know, you mentioned Mecca, and we know that Muslims face what is called the Kaaba or the cube five times every day in their prayers. On the Kaaba, there is a stone yes. called the Black Stone yes. that has very interesting history. And yes. you wrote a paper yes. a long time ago yes. uh, about this Black Stone. Yes. And since you're a specialist in earth sciences, can you tell us a little bit yes. where did it come from? Is it true that some people say that it used to be white and then it became black, or yes. was it black in origin? Yes. Can you please tell us a little bit? Yes, you see, uh, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has told us when uh, Ibrahim alayhi salam and his son Ismail alayhi salam were raising the foundations of the Kaaba. Then Ibrahim alayhi salam asked Ismail to go around looking for a rock of a different color to be made a, a beginning for the tawaf the circumambulation around the Kaaba. Uh, we know that Mecca is built on a mass of crystalline rocks. And whenever these crystalline rocks, igneous and metamorphic rocks, are intruded into the earth, they intrude in vast, immense areas. So uh, uh, Sayyidina Ismail salam, went around looking. He couldn't find anything different. When he came to his father by sunset, he said, Father, I couldn't find anything. But he found a huge block of rock by him, and Ibrahim told him, it was brought to me by Jibreel, alayhi salam. So they uh, together put it in that uh, eastern corner of the Kaaba to make it as a, a beginning for the circumambulation around the Kaaba. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam is quoted to have said that this stone, min ahjar al sama, min ahjar al jannah, it is a part of the stones of heavens, it is part of the stones from paradise. And uh, of course, uh, uh, Orientalists, when they listen to this, uh, they said Arabs do not know anything about geology because the area uh, along the western coast of the uh, of Arabia uh, or, or the eastern coast of the Red Sea is uh, covered by a vast expanse of basalts and basaltic rocks are dark rocks are black rocks and they said apparently by eros erosive processes a block of these were taken by uh, uh, currents uh, torrential currents to Mecca because Mecca is in a valley and they said the Arabs don't know this, so they, they said uh, it's uh, from heavens or it's a meteoric body. So they uh, organized uh, a trip to that region. Uh, one of their uh, intelligence people was uh, in the army. They uh, taught him Arabic for eight years and uh, sent him to Morocco to get the Moroccan accent and then to Egypt as a pilgrimage coming from Morocco. And he went to Medina and then to Mecca. And this man says that... Uh, uh, the, the viewing the Kaaba from the uh, premises of Mecca is the most moving uh, image he has ever seen in his life. But uh, nevertheless, he went to the, uh, to the Kaaba, and uh, the black stone, because it was transported several times, uh, has been fragmented into about 15 small pieces in the size of a, of a walnut. And these now are impregnated into a resin, and put into a silver framework. So he easily got part of these, uh, one of these uh, uh, nuggets and went to, to Jeddah. Uh, I don't want to make the story too long, but he came to the British Museum Natural History in London. They thin sectioned that rock. And they proved that it is a meteoric body of a unique nature that's not known before. And it is white inside and black on the outside. Yeah. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is quoted to have said that it used to be uh, as white as milk. And it has been tanned by the mistakes of people or the evil actions of people.